Have you ever felt like leaving your sailboat was the best solution? Well, I have. And this is how I feel about it. These past days have been quite rough for me, a bit challenging. When we first got here, everything was still pretty good. So let's maybe start with that. We had a long motor yesterday from Bahia Ballena up to Bahia Samara. It's about a short 50 nautical miles. It was pure motoring. We didn't film. It was super flat. Very nice, beautiful day. I read a whole book. It took us uh, 12 hours. And now we're here in Samara. It's one of the rollier ones, <laughs> for sure. We had a very rolly night. Olga was not so happy this morning. <laughs> So we decided to take a little beach day. We're just gonna walk a little bit and check out town. I think Mark needs a cash machine. Just gonna play Domingueros today. Because I think it is Domingo, it's Sunday. Es Domingo? Domingueros is like uh, people that go out on Sunday, you know, to sit on the beach and have a drink or something. So that's what we're gonna do. ¿A dónde vamos? Tengo hambre. Yo quería, voy a preguntar a ver si hay alguna una cantina o una soda o algo por ahí. Hola. So yeah, we had a great Sunday. We went out to a nice restaurant on the beach and we had good food and we had some drinks and we did some dancing, we met some people and it was really, really nice. And then we went back to the boat and Samara is one of those bays that has like zero protection. We were thrown from left to right and it was violent. I think that's probably the right term. It, it was intense. Boga started to feel really bad and she got really nervous and anxious about all the rolling. I sort of caught a stomach bug or something and spent like half of the time on the head. My body was drained of energy anyways through that and then on top of that the constant rolling and it just really got to me. I mean, it got to me physically, but then it also started getting to me mentally. I just couldn't blank it out anymore, and, and it sort of started making me feel overwhelmed. Telling it makes me feel like, really? I mean, was it that bad? I mean, it was just, you know, a bit of a rolly anchorage. I mean, we've had rolly anchorages now for weeks on end, so maybe it's also that, that it's been really tiring in general somehow things were accelerating and I just started feeling really bad and and there was no stopping inside either unfortunately we had missed like the only good weather window to keep moving north the, the complete next week was looking shitty so really we just had to stay there and the thing is in Costa Rica all the anchorages are really far apart at least in that area so going back to the anchorage where we came from was 60 miles and then going to the next one up was another 60 miles too so it wasn't just like a little you know let's power through some shitty weather and get there like in three hours which I totally would have done there was one weather window that looked a little bit better so we took up anchor in it was just insane. There was no wind. The sea state was huge. We had the main up stabilize us, but the boat was just rolling like crazy. Boga was unhappy. It's 
started raining. There was going to be rain for the next five hours probably and no wind and thunderstorms and whatnot. Like we went out maybe 40 minutes into this and I was picturing us having to do this for another 12 hours and I was like this this is just stupid. This is not a touch better than what we did at Anchor and I'm feeling bad physically and mentally and I'm not going to be a good captain on this trip. So I decided that we were going to turn around. And when I decided that we were going to turn around, I decided that we were going to leave the boat at anchor and go into a hostel. I don't know, just to reset myself, just to gather some strength and to get the spirits back up. And now that I'm here, I, I feel physically better. But now going through this whole process of thinking, is that really necessary? Are you too weak for this? If I had been by myself, I don't think I would have ever left the boat by itself. I would have just pulled myself together and fought through it. And I feel that because I'm not by myself, I have allowed myself to be weak. Once I opened the door to being vulnerable, it just got even worse. And I felt that I couldn't push through it anymore. I mean, don't get me wrong, I know if I have crew and something happens at sea, I can totally pull myself together. I will totally be capable of making decisions and pushing through and making sure that my crew is safe. I felt it was a safer option for my mental health. <laughs> if I feel that I failed my boat or my competence as a sailor or whatever. The ones of you that have been sailing along with me for some time now, you know that I sometimes get into these moments where I have doubt if I belong to the people who travel the oceans or if I'm just simply not cut out for it. I felt so bad, I felt anxieties, tired. I nearly peed my pants. I was only taking stupid decisions. I don't really feel like a sailor. It crossed my mind just to give up. And I think it's moments like these where I feel I'm not. Maybe that's what's bugging me most because, you know, this is where I want to be. What if I'm not strong enough? And I know that I've been in situations before that were more intense than this and I went through them. I'm sure there's people that go like, I would never abandon my ship. That's just a sign of weakness. I guess everyone's different. Different types of sailors and maybe the, the softy sailor. <laughs> And I guess the only person that can truly decide whether I'm cut out for this or not is myself and not what other people think. So yeah, that's been my last couple of days. But hey, the sun is shining and I already feel a lot calmer. And I know that being on land will completely reset me and I'll be ready to go for the next leg. I've got more about that.